ridiculous. Agents set up to screen passengers preparing to fly to London. We have information that a Romanian citizen is flying to London in the morning. They scrutinize the documents, looking for telltale signs of fraud.
Free of choice day changes every day. Schedule a free consultation. Get up to 10 times the points at hotels and rental cars when you book through the credit one bank travel partner with the credit one bank travel partner. Sally, you're not there. Why are you wrong now? 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 Why are you
We are going to send the documents to Siren and see what they say. It will take a few days. But with the help of the European Union's information database, Siren, immigration will determine the traveler's true identities. Police detained an elderly woman with drugs strapped to her legs. The woman has decided to call her family. It won't be easy, but it's important her loved ones know the situation.
If so many people are overweight now and asking themselves, why can't I lose weight? For most, the reason is insulin resistance, and they don't even know they have it. Conventional starvation diets don't address insulin resistance. That's why they don't work. Now there's Golo. Golo helps with insulin resistance, getting rid of sugar cravings, helps control stress and emotional eating, and losing weight. Go to Golo.com and see how Golo can change your life. That's G-O-L-O. I just need him to be more attentive. It was one bad week. How am I supposed to love someone who can't even set a line up? She's made six different leagues. So. Checking out? We appreciate your love to this job. That comes to $129 for the night, girls. Not bad. Checking out. $99 for the night, please. How did you get back to you? I use Tramaga. With Tramaga, you can compare hotel offers from major booking sites. It's a great deal. Hotel Tramaga. Hello, Nobody loves Alfredo quite like we do. We make it from scratch, so you can enjoy it for twirls or dips. With our one-of-a-kind Alfredo, the possibilities are endless. That's not a white shock. Sherry struggles on conference calls, but he's such a dedicated employee. You're right. Hey, Jacques. <laughs> Join us. Oh, hmm, some uh, strong wings. <laughs> now, special pay food and yogurt doesn't even pour the food That's music to my ears. Come on, special pay. Who is the listener? offers fast and secure payments for customers at the lowest transaction fees. So you can keep more of the money you make and continue to grow the business. If you've got it, we've got you. Start today at GoDaddy.com slash payments. How does a 48-year-old ex-guy counselor become an FBI agent? Uh, life experience. <laughs> second act is just in style. Going after some drug dealer was just a waste of time. But let's get the source. Let's control him this stuff. Come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> Knuckle Wars, new episode 1099 on National Geographic. A gopher swallows airport, but drinks fail. Nigerian born passenger who lives in Spain. She's just arrived on a flight from Ethiopia. Mozambique is not a typical tourist destination from Spain, so police transfer her for additional inspection. The passenger appears at ease. But an internet romance is a typical smuggler's line. Hey, what about the visa? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Y desde Sevilla te vienes a mostrar hasta comprar el billete. No, porque yo tengo un novio que aquí, que aquí está mejor. ¿Qué es otro novio también? ¿O no? ¿Qué no? No, hombre, digo amigo, puede ser novio. ¿O no? ¿Eh? No pasa nada. ¿Cómo te van a meter los marineros? ¿Uno va a tener nada puerto? The passenger continues to cooperate fully. The officer is finished with her suitcase. And now moves to the subject's handbag. Yeah. 
Si te quieren, hace falta, hombre. ¿Qué? El amor puede con todo. Aunque sea recién levantada. Guarda, guarda. No hay problema. The woman's bags are clean. But the police want to make sure she's not carrying anything illegal inside her body. In the X-ray room, her attitude changes.
Santiago de Chile. ¿Cuánto tiempo se está ahí? Entonces, bien, ¿qué fuiste de vacaciones? Mira, vamos a revisar el, el, el equipaje que porta, ¿vale? The agent remains suspicious. The passenger is transferred to headquarters for a complete inspection. A ver, vamos a mirar primero esta. ¿Esto es tu nombre? Sí. ¿Estás casado? ¿Trabajas actualmente? Solo ha sido de tu mismo, ¿no? So far, the bags are clean, and the passenger seems calm. The officer now moves to the backpack, and almost immediately, the suspect appears to crack. Todos los días así estoy yo, ¿verdad? Y esta mochila la llevaba o la compraste allí? Esta... la compré... La compraste allí en Chile. Te llevas ropa o algo más, te llevas algún tipo de regalo, te llevas botellas de... Unas cochonitas. Unas cochonitas. ¿Te son estas cochonitas? Sí. Two sleeping pads, not entirely out of the ordinary in a camping van. What ATM is this? You asked what ATM is? Yeah, what ATM is? He said he was there as a tourist. But he didn't mention anything about mountaineering. So that was also suspicious. As the inspection continues, the passenger starts to contradict himself. First, he said he spent 15 days in South Africa. Now he claims he was in Chile's northern desert. For the police, it's clear he's got something to hide. To scan the items, the officer transfers the passenger to customs. Oh, you do? There's something oh, okay. unusual oh, you the the And the agents move to investigate. Suarez. A flight from Lisbon, Portugal, has just landed, and the anti-narcotics police carry out a routine screening procedure. Un compañero mío subió la puerta. The colleague took the back door, and I went to the front to check the passengers and then put them on the shuttle. I checked in Nigeria, coming from Mozambique with a stopover in Lisbon. And my colleague also inspected Nigeria, coming from Mozambique. The passengers seem overly calm given the circumstances. Their behavior could suggest they have nothing to hide, or that they're concealing criminal activity. Any person you start who's coming in on a flight this late, after many hours of traveling, would be a bit nervous. But in this case, they appear calm. They don't say anything, nor ask why we're inspecting them. in the skin of the client in order to produce and provide the with officers on the school buses you never know which school bus is going to have an officer or not 
you know, kids are very unpredictable. They could run out uh, from behind the school bus, in front of the school bus. And so we want to make sure that we uh, certainly are, are setting a good example and reaffirming to our community that this is really important. Katie Dorsey, NBC5. Happening, happening right now at the Tarrant Area Food Bank is holding a food drive to help families in need this new school year. Families can get fresh food and canned goods at Herman Clark Stadium from 6.30 to 8.30 tonight. There's also a big back-to-school food drive happening at the Arena on Friday from 8 to 10 a.m. The Tarrant Area Food Bank will return to Herman Clark Stadium on August 30th. Time for the rundown now, and we begin with Billy Bob's big reveal. Yeah, tonight the iconic venue reveals its renovations to the public.
and they can get most jobs done in a day. They'll even clean up afterwards. Call today to get 60% off new floors. 50 floor is home improvement. Done right. Oh, it's a Life gets bigger when you break from the earth. The Volkswagen Tiguan. Visit your Volkswagen dealer today to learn more about the versatile 2022 Tiguan. Limited inventory available. With tens of millions of Americans now taking to the skies every week, the airline industry is working and in some cases struggling to keep up with the demand. From staffing to scheduling to weather issues and more, the biggest priority above all else, one retired air traffic controller tells us, is passenger safety, getting you from point A to point B. NBC's Stephanie Gosk has more. In the country's busiest airspace, well, like for take off. thousands and thousands of flights come and go every day, meaning even the slightest snag in the system. We're going to try to get you a reroute there, uh, see how long it's going to be. Can bring major ripple effects. If you lose an airplane from New York, you lose it in Atlanta, you lose it in Dallas, you lose it in Iowa City, you lose it everywhere. On Monday, the Federal Aviation Authority warned of hours-long delays at its New York City hubs, LaGuardia, JFK, and Newark, citing staffing issues, including a shortage of air traffic controllers. And while the FAA announced hours later that the ground delays out of JFK and Newark had been lifted, cause for concern is still in the air. By the beginning of 2022, there were more than a thousand less certified professional controllers, and more than 1,500 less onboard travel facilities. A number that has been planned for the past 11 years. The FAA recently announced it received more than 57,000 applications for its open air traffic controller positions, and were on target to meet their yearly hiring goal. The Delta CEO Ed Bastian says air traffic control is just one facet of an airline ecosystem facing an uphill climb. TSA and security have had challenges. Mm -hmm. our, our vendors and our concourses have had challenges, but we're making a lot of progress. With passenger totals now consistently approaching pre-pandemic levels, the busy summer season has been turning up the heat on the entire airline industry. It's causing problems with staffing, scheduling, and the handling of bad weather. Travelers are frustrated and running out of patience. Look at the line. I mean, welcome to 2022, I guess. And as summer winds down, some industry leaders say unless big changes are made, upcoming holiday travel could be anything but merry. We're going to see the same results, cancellations and delays, when it's the worst time possible when you need to get to see family or carry on business. Stephanie Goss, NBC News. And on that note, American Airlines announced that it is scheduling 31,000 fewer flights in November. That is 16% of its flights in that month. If you want to travel over Thanksgiving, you should book it. Wow, that is not that bad. But hey, we're talking about Thanksgiving and the holidays and these dropping temperatures mm. and make it feel a little more like a little. Oh, yeah. And, and I tell you, the, the, the temperature drop tomorrow is like a one day thing. Oh. But next week is multiple days. Like I said, I don't have one triple digit day. Love on my 10-day forecast and i can't wait to show you that forecast coming up here in a couple of minutes in the meantime look at the clay cooley cam oh my goodness it's brutally hot out there today it's 102 feels like 106 our dew point the amount of moisture in the air is 65. you know when it's in the 50s it's all right but man you start getting in the mid 60s whoo that uh, that old heat index starts to go up and notice, we have a north-northeast wind at 12. That means the front has moved through. Why is it still so hot? The cooler air is lagging behind the front. It'll be coming on in. We'll notice it, uh, especially tomorrow, right? Isolated thunderstorms? Not many of us are going to get one tonight or tomorrow. That's all right. Next week Good looks job. like a premium rain opportunity. Much cooler tomorrow. We will all enjoy that. Next week looks wet and cool. When's the last time I said that? Several days with rain chances next week and several days of highs in the 80s. In the meantime, it is 102 here. Waco is 104. Look to the north, my friends. See the cooler weather? Oklahoma City, 79. Woodward, Oklahoma, 70. Yeah, that cooler air is slowly kind of matriculating down on into Texas. And that means it's going to get cooler here. Span radar showing a few showers and thunderstorms to the south. This is closer 
to where the actual flood is. So you get some thunderstorms bubbling up. They're all pretty small. And uh, there is a disturbance that's moving out of the Texas Panhandle, moving southeast. So that may generate a few more showers and storms tonight on into tomorrow morning. Again, they'll be pretty isolated like they are right now. So if you're banking on getting good rain tonight, probably not going to happen. Rain chance tomorrow afternoon diminish, and then we're dry on Friday and Saturday. Here's future cast. It does show a little cluster of storms by mid-evening, and then that kind of moves away by midnight tonight. Then there's a dry period. That's Thursday, tomorrow morning. And there's tomorrow lunchtime. So he will be going to jam up. He will be going to jam up. And then he turned in his day. That's what he said. He turned around and looked to you and said, how much y'all talk? Tomorrow afternoon, dries out with mostly sunny or at least partly cloudy on Friday's top temperatures. Because you'll like to see this. Temperatures start the day in the 70s tomorrow. Dries early in the mid 80s. Now, Friday dries out. Sun comes out. And so we're going to go back into the 90s, but it won't be as extreme as today. And again, next week will be fun to look at. Isolated thunderstorms tonight, slowly turning cooler, a low of 75. And tomorrow, Generally a cloudy day, there'll be a 30 to 40 percent chance for a shower or thunderstorm up through the lunchtime. 88 for the high. 88 for the high. North wind 5 to 10. We go 94 Friday, 97 hot on Saturday, but another shot of thunderstorm Sunday. Our temperatures start going back down. 92 for the high. Look at this. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday. We have rain chances in that 10 day forecast with highs in the 80s. Do you see a triple di digit temperature on that? Nope. Not this one. And I don't know how long it's been since I've had a 100 degree free 10 day forecast. Hey, what's a backdoor cold front? All right, is it a cold front that is moving from the northeast to the southwest? Is it a front that's moving from south to north? Or is it a cold front moving from the northwest? the southeast. Oh, wow. One of those is what a typical cold front does, but a backdoor cold front, mm, it's a little different. Okay. So we'll, we'll figure out the answer coming up. All right. Thank you. Well, for parents of preemies, the first few months of life can be like a roller coaster ride. Now doctors are hoping a breakthrough in the lab will help these babies survive an infection that kills 4,000 babies each year. Nah, nah, the first person nah, you'll see tonight on NBC. This angle, bro. Yeah. I'm loving it. ABC 5 weather is sponsored by Frontier. Let's go yeah. Frontier. Yeah. Now that we switched to Frontier Gig Fiber, we can all be online at the same time. The kids can game and binge all they want, and it doesn't cut out. Doesn't cut out. Nope. Not even at the worst possible time. Times? We're done with all that. You hear that, kids? That's all time. Change to fiber. Change to better. Upgrade to Frontier Gig Service and get a $300 Visa reward card on us. You never know what's going to happen. Your top two go to the finals. You are the greatest of all time. You better be the superstar. Tonight, there's nothing Martin Short can't do. I've won many enemies in a total. Who is there? Locust. Well, he always had that Tony to fall back on. <laughs> New password tonight on NBC. It's the Rose to Go Labor Day sale. See big. Shop this stunning living room with sofa and floating shades. Just $10.95 and $19 a month in this free. Great value in your choice of stylish colors. On sale now at Rose to Go. <laughs> Now that's something I can commit to. This round four doesn't even have as many standard safety features as this road. It will be pure finance with new payments for 90 days on road. Not maybe forever, but these offers are not. Greetings, travelers. I am Poinsettia, goddess of points. The wanted card from Credit One Bank now bestows. Ten times the points for rental cars and hotels. Plus points for clothes, beats, professional sporting events, theatrical productions, circuses, 
Get up to 10 times the points on hotels and rental cars when you book through the Credit One Bank Travel Partner. Visit CreditOneBankTravel.com. I wasn't sure if a retirement community was right for us. I thought that's where you went to stop being independent. Highland Springs changed my mind. Everything we need is right here. And if the time comes when one of us needs extra care, well, that's here too. If anything, we're even more independent now. We can't wait to see what tomorrow brings. Highland Springs is a senior living community in North Dallas. Request your brochure today. It's the Rose to Go Labor Day sale. Time to stay big. Shop this new, great looking dining set. Just $10.95 or $19 a month and it was free. In your choice of stylish finish. On sale now at Rose to Go. NBC 5 News is sponsored by the North Texas Fair and Rodeo, August 19th to the 27th. In today's top headlines, some smartphones may be able to detect narrow neck arteries, which could potentially lead to a stroke. Researchers from Taiwan completed a small study of adults using 20-second smartphone video recordings of a person's neck. More than half had at least a 50% blockage that was previously diagnosed by ultrasound, and the method had an 87% accuracy rate at detecting stenosis. One in ten babies are born prematurely before 37 weeks in pregnancy. It is the number one cause of death of babies in the U.S. One possible complication causes intestinal tissue to die. And there are no targeted treatments for this complication, but researchers may have found what causes it. So hopefully now they'll be able to save more lives. Little two-year-old Sam Luce is right on target which is amazing considering he was born three months premature. Sam was born uh, just under two and a half pounds. It's hard to describe the size. Day four was the first time we ever got to hold him. Sam was suffering from necrotizing enterocolitis, or neck. It causes intestinal tissue to die. They suddenly develop abdominal distension, uh, feeding tolerance, blood is stool, and they may develop then signs of shock. Doctors aren't sure what causes it, but neonatologists at Lurie Children's Hospital found a decreased development of tiny blood vessels in the intestines could be caused by lower levels of a particular growth hormone. By injecting mice with this growth hormone, they were able to stop the infection. So we could find uh, and design therapy that could prevent neck, so babies would no longer need to uh, suffer from this disease. Just five days after birth, Sam had two inches of his intestine removed. After 151 days in the NICU, he was finally well enough to go home and now keeps his brother Jack on the run. Like it just blows my mind. He has met all of his milestones developmentally. He's super social, a loving, fun, stubborn <laughs> two-year-old. And doctors hope that these new insights will open the door to developing novel new treatments that could promote healthy intestinal development in premature babies. Electric cars are everywhere, and we will see more and more hit the roads in the coming years. How to know if it's the right choice for you? Just ahead. Another shakeup with the Texas Rangers management. The reason the team is parting ways with John Daniels. In a major audit of Tarrant County's juvenile justice system, the problems uncovered all ahead in our next half hour of NBC5 First to Four.
band joined by Kirsten from West Shore to find out what exactly sets West Shore apart. So Joe, West Shore Hall, we understand the stress of starting a new window project. And that's why we've made it fast, convenient, and more affordable than ever to get your window project done while saving big. Now we know how you're making it fast and easy with the one day installation, but how are you making it affordable? So Joe, we know we've had a rough few months with gas prices higher than normal and monthly budgets tighter than they have been in a long time. So we want to help everyone out. Right now, for anyone who calls in, we'll do free installation on all window projects. And on top of that, you can save your money so you can pay off your credit card bills from the family vacations because we're doing 18 months of no payments, no interest financing. That means you don't have to make your first payment until 18 months after your installation is complete. Wow, so people can really stay flexible with their money, put it toward other things while getting the windows they need now. That's super helpful. It definitely is. Now is the best time to get your project started because not only will you get our amazing Labor Day savings, you're going to get your windows installed before the cold winter months, and then you'll save money on your energy bill all year round. Now, for somebody who wants to start that project right now, what will be their first step? So they should give us a call, and we'll set up an appointment at a time that's convenient for them. We'll measure the current windows and find a style that works. At the end of the appointment, we'll give an exact price down to the penny that's good for an entire year. So even if they're not ready to start their window project now, they can lock in that price and not have to worry about any price increases for a full year. Absolutely. Wow, Kirsten, thanks so much. Folks, call West Shore Home now and take advantage of their Labor Day sale. It's free installation on all window projects. And for a limited time, they're doing 18 months of flexible financing. This is an offer you don't want to miss. Call the window experts at West Shore Home now. Get away with a great deal at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. With new cars arriving daily, now's the time to get in and get away. Get 2.99% APR financing on the Tucson, plus complimentary minutes. Visit buyhyundai.com today. You're watching NBC5 News, first at four. There is a big problem with overcrowding in Tarrant County's Juvenile Detention Center. A board overseeing the system looked for a fix after an audit revealed the big problems. NBC 5's Amy Zhang reports from Fort Worth. This is a copy of that 21-page audit. It was prepared by a former director of Tarrant County's Juvenile Services. Kerry Cockrell served as director for 20 years. According to the audit, the county's juvenile detention center had reached a record high of 138 people as of April 12th this year. That exceeds the facility's capacity by 18. According to Tarrant County Judge Glenn Whitley, the population in the detention center has gone up over the past four years. That is despite referrals to the county county detention center going down. I am in the budget mode. I mean, we talk about you know, how efficient. Well, we're spending $5 million more, but the dollars, while they're always important, and for a bean counter, they're always important. The more important thing, I think, is the kids that we've got there and the duty that we owe those kids. District Court Judge Alex Tim oversees the detention center along with two associate judges. Kim was at today's meeting. His response to the audit's findings coming up tonight at 6. In Fort Worth, Lily Zhang, NBC5. A Dallas County grand jury declined to indict local pastor Ricky Rush in two cases, including one of the allegations of sexual assault. Yeah, Dallas County hey. News reports the panel did not find enough evidence against Rush, who founded the inspiring body of Christ Church, to take it to trial. Rush's attorney called the allegations baseless. A Dallas man who fatally stabbed a real estate agent in McKinney is set to be executed this evening. Who sold Shanta Kumar? killed with Sarah Walker inside a model home back in 2006. DNA evidence linked him with the crime. His attorneys asked the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals to stay his execution.